What is up guys, my name is Ignas, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to take a look into the dividends of one of the largest but also one of the most expensive chip names. And that is Nvidia, ticker symbol NVDA. The stock hasn't been doing well recently with plenty of red to go around. This year the price almost halved down for 41.61% but looking into one year there has been some growth with plus 23.29% and with the last 5 years the stock price did quite well going from $32 in 2017 up to $176 now higher for 450.17%. So NVIDIA is now the largest semiconductor name with a market cap of over 440 billion US dollars. But even after this year's sell-off the stock is quite high with the price to earnings at 45.72 and they are paying a relatively low dividend now at 0.091%. So the dividend yield will be our focus today. We'll take a look into the dividend yield history of the last 5 years and check if the recent sell-off did make the yield more attractive or if it's still expensive as it is. To answer this question we'll go into my dividend investing watchlist. So we are in the watchlist on Google Sheets and this is the tab for Nvidia. Here we have the dividend yield history of each quarter of the last 5 years. And out of this information we can calculate that on average in 5 years the dividend yield was at 0.21%. So how does this average stand to each quarter of these 5 years? Back in 2017 we had the dividend yield the highest it has been in 5 years at 0.40% higher than the average for 92.66% but afterwards this difference started melting away. In 2018 it dropped to 0.24% which was only 15.6% higher than average and then dropping to 0.22% in the third quarter of 2018 higher than the average for 5.86%. In 2019 the stock has been selling off a bit so the yield went higher up to 0.34% which was 63.76% over average but that marked the start of even a worse reduction in yield. 2020 started with 0.25%, 20.41% over average. Then there was a brief moment in 2021 where the dividend yield was at 0.13%, so increased by just a bit, down for 37.39% under average. But with the price surging by the second half of 2021, the dividend yield went down to the lows of 0.05%, which was 75.92% under the 5-year average. Now with this year's sell-off, the yield is inching back higher, where we now have it at 0.09%, but that is still way under the 5-year average, now down for 56.65%. So if we take the average yield at 0.21%, for almost 3 years we had the opportunity to buy the stock over it, but after the second quarter of 2020, the yield went under average and has yet to come back even closer to it. So it doesn't look to be the best time to be buying into the stock for the yield right now. Now if you would be interested in doing a similar analysis for a ticker of your choice, you can access this watchlist on Google Sheets by following the second link at the top of the description. Otherwise feel free to add the ticker in a comment below and I'll consider adding it into my watchlist here. It could be interesting to check what other opportunities have you found available right now. So even though the dividend yield is quite low, I still want to check on two more metrics. One is the dividend payout and the second is the payout ratio. So here we have Nvidia's dividend payout history of the last 5 years. Back in 2017 the payout was at 13 cents per share. Then in a year in 2018 it was increased to 15 cents. But it looks like that in 2019 the yield got decreased just by a few cents but that was still a reduction to a payout of 12 cents on the trailing 12 months. Now with 2020 the payouts got back on track where then it got increased to 16 cents per share. But that is unfortunately the place where the fun ends. As the price kept going up with 2021, the dividend payout remained flat at 16 cents per share. With the price surging in 2021, payout haven't been increased so still 16 cents. And this year with the price going a bit lower, we still have the same payout at 16 cents per share. So it was quite promising back in 2017, where they have been increasing on the payout, then there was this drop in 2019, but we still got back on track by 2020. Unfortunately that was that ceiling. So they kept the payout the same through 2020 and 2021. Since they are not increasing the dividend payout, there is not much pressure for the dividend yield to go up too. 
The only potential that we have for that is for the stock price to just keep going lower. But I'm doubtful that we'll see those prices of 2019. Now one more metric I want to check is the payout ratio. The percentage here shows how much of company's earnings are paid out to investors as dividends. So in Nvidia's case the payout ratio is now at 2.83%. This means that of every $100 in earnings, they are putting away less than $3 to shareholders for the dividends. So it seems that there are plenty of profits that are not given back, but in case they do want to increase on the dividends, there is still plenty of space to be doing just that. And that was it, make sure to support the channel and leave a thumbs up under the video. Are you holding any of the NVDA shares right now? Share your stance on the name in a comment below. If you would be interested in getting access to my dividend investing watchlist, then consider memberships. By becoming a member you will get access to Discord, where I share my stock watchlist and all the buys and sells exactly when I do them. This could be a great option to track my moves closely. Last week I did an analysis on another company, so if you would be interested in that, then click on a video that is currently on the screen. And that was it from my side, thank you for watching and I will be seeing you all in the next one.